I think it helps a lot. I think um, day in and day out, we're continuing to grow our chemistry together. I love all the guys in the room. And even though uh, Austin's not with us right now on the field, he's doing a great job coaching everyone up. He's still 100% dialed in. I'm still asking him ways how I can get better. He's watching us and he's, uh, he's doing a wonderful job with that. And I believe Cade's doing a great job of that next man in mentality. And um, you know we're continuing to grow and you know pass enough twists. Dominating our combos in the run blocks, so you know it's been it's been great playing with them so far. Oh, sorry, what are some things that you don't have to do this year that you had to do last year because you guys know each other? Some things we had to do this year. That you don't have to do this year that you did last year. Um, all the uh, all the explanation with Campy and the indie drills. You know, we just line up, we go. We know the standard he wants. Um, yeah, when it comes to flying around individual, when it comes to what he wants is with checking the ball, with you know vipering guys up, with driving guys out, and doing everything we can to make sure that the quarterback's not touched. You know he he um, he made sure to set that standard last year, and now it's time for us to continue to carry carry it and raise that floor of what the standard is. You sort of touched on just that obviously new quarterback this year, rookie quarterback this year. Is that I know you guys. Are Back and does that put extra pressure on you to be able to provide in time in order to adjust to the speed of the game? Man, I, I when it comes to pressure, man, I'm uh, the older I get, the more I realize I love pressure. You know, it's such an opportunity to be uh, in this in, in this league and be able to do what I've been able to do for you know going on seven years now, and you know it, it's a blessing, man. This, that pressure is a blessing, and um, you know there's I don't put any extra pressure on myself. It's just at the end of the day. You know, I, I want Bryce to do the best he possibly can. Um, I think he's a tremendous quarterback, and he's continuing to grow day in and day out. But, you know, this is ultimate team sport. If I'm not holding up on my end of the bargain, he can't be the best version of himself. Same thing with the receivers. Same thing with the defense, right? If we can't do what we can, what we do up front as an offensive line, puts more pressure on the defense. You know, so it's a, that's a, one thing I love about the sport is, you know, you really are your brother's keeper. Everyone touches each other's money. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm excited to be blocking for Bryce and excited to, uh, you know, continue to work with him through the future. What have you noticed about his uh, humility that he's come in with? A lot of guys have talked about that. Have you noticed that as well? Yeah, I'd say it's a, it's a humble confidence. You know, I, I describe hum, humble confidence as, you know, knowing, um, you know, you, you can, if you're, you're at your best, no one can beat you if you're, but anyone can beat you if you're not. You know, that's kind of my mentality with humble confidence. You know, I don't know what his is, but I, I, I see it. And I recognize, I recognize that, you know, he's, he's got all the confidence in the world with the steps of that huddle, but he's so dialed in knowing that if he's not, you know, any, you know, anything could happen. So, you know, I think it's, and I think it resonates with the rest of the group. So, you know, it's, it's been good to see in the, in the huddle and on the field in general. Uh, I think it was uh, Shaq the other day said that Frank and his staff did a good job of taking care of players. It looks like some reps they're letting uh, Cam go in and get some reps for you. Do you appreciate that as a vet that they're kind of watching out for you? Yeah, I, I appreciate it. I think that, you know, it, it's hard for me to say because I haven't been anywhere else, but, you know, I, I truly believe we have, if not the best, one of the best um, training staffs in the league, you know, and all those guys on that side of the ball, along with Campy. Campy's been a tremendous part in that and knowing you know, player loads and understanding, you know, the things I got going on with my body and what I need be, um, to be the best, you know, to be playing the best of my ability throughout 17 weeks because, you know, that when it comes to your body, this is really a marathon, not a sprint, right? And they really understand that. They've done a tremendous job. And, you know, ultimately I go in there and I play the best of my ability whenever my name's called. And that's my mindset with it right now, you know, because I trust their process. Huh? First day in pads, I know you guys, Coach Wright said you guys, he felt like you guys were looking forward to it. Um, so how would you describe it? Like Always do. No, it was great to get out here and put the pads on, smack a little bit more than we've been. So, uh, you know, it, it's hard because I'm out there and I'm just kind of dialed into what I got going on right now. So it's hard for me to, um, you know, just give a evaluation of the entire offense or the entire defense, anything like that. But, you know, I just – 
just um, without even watching film, I know some things I like to clean up and things, you know, I continue to get better with. So, you know, it's, that's, that's also what I'm looking forward to with going back, watch the film, and just having that opportunity to come out here tomorrow and work on those things. All right, last one. Taylor, is the first day of padded practice still kind of as, you know, exhilarating and as exciting as it was when you were a rookie? Has any of that kind of died out? How would you describe uh, that emotion? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot of fun. It's always, it's, it's been a lot of fun every year. I mean, maybe my rookie year, because I didn't know quite what to expect. Um, you know, there was a few more nerves to it, but, you know, the older I get, the more, you know, you kind of know what's going on, you know what to expect, and, you know, you just, the, the game continues to slow down for me, which is cool. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been awesome. And like I said before, I just love getting to come out here, play with such a, you know, tremendous group of men, and, you know, continue to change my best. So. Uh, we're finished with David. It'd be easy for Brian Burns to negotiate a contract to back off a little bit out here. Uh, looks like he was going 100. percent What have you seen out there out of him? Oh, you know, I just I know when when Brian Burns' name's called, he's 100 percent go. I love him. He continues to make me a better player. You know, I'm not gonna talk anything about the contract thing. That's that's him, his agent, and those guys. I'm, I have no part in that. But I just I love having him on the team. I love what he's been able to contribute to me as a player, and someone that like if he beats me he tells me what happened and um and not only that like throughout the season the way he you know he'll sit down and watch defensive events from other teams with me and i get that defensive event perspective that pro bowl all pro caliber perspective you know so it's it, it's it's a it's pretty awesome to have a guy like that in the locker room and you know i think all the guys really appreciate him and what he brings to the you know to the table on and off the field i think your team on